I'm hungry. It's a good thing we always pack some sandwiches. Catch, Hero! Better be careful, Leo. You might attract wild animals with your food. Wait, do you hear that? Leo, look! It's wasps! Oh no! My food must have attracted them! They're coming closer! <laughs> I'll throw my sandwich away. Perhaps they'll go after it. Now let's run! Oh no! Some of the wasps are still following us! The White-Bellied Woodpecker. Hi, everybody. My name is Leo. I am a junior ranger. And this is my puppy, Hero. Hero, is that a bone you have? <laughs> Do you know what Hero is doing? That's right. He dug a hole to bury his bone to save it for later. What's that sound? Hero, I don't think it comes from your bone. Do you hear it too? Let's go find out. It's a bird and it's making holes in the tree. I wonder how it got here. You know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister, Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Now hold still, bird. Katie, are you there? I just sent you a photo of a noisy bird. It's making holes in the tree. Hi, Leo. I've received the photo. What an interesting looking bird. Can you find more information about it? Of course I can. Great. And coming up. Hero, you stay here and watch our new friend. I'll be right back. Come on, everybody. Let's go into the treehouse. Hi, Katie. Did you find anything? You're just in time, Leo. The computer is looking for information about the bird. Here we go. It's a woodpecker, and this one is a white-bellied woodpecker. The white-bellied woodpecker is one of the biggest woodpecker out there. A white-bellied woodpecker? So why does it keep tapping against the tree? The woodpecker makes holes in trees to get food. It eats the insects in the tree trunks. I see. But does that not damage the trees? Some woodpeckers eat sap from the trees, which can damage those trees. But not the white-bellied woodpecker. It eats insects that might be harmful to the trees, so it keeps the trees healthy. I see. What a helpful bird. Where does it come from? White-bellied woodpeckers can be found in the tropical forests of Asia and Southeast Asia. By the way, the woodpecker you found is female. The male has a red mustache on the side of his cheeks, but females don't. Well, let's take her back to the forest where there are more trees for her to get food from. Come and join us. That's a great idea, Leo. See you downstairs. Lots of fun and lots to learn. One, two, off we go for lots of fun and lots to learn. Ranger Rocky! Welcome to the rainforest, Junior Rangers. Ah, I see you brought a female white-bellied woodpecker. Yes, Ranger Rocky. We're here to bring her back to where she came from. That's great, Leo. Here's a little clue for you. The white-bellied woodpecker builds its nest in a large dead tree 
often beside rivers. Hmm. So we need to find a large dead tree with a nest inside. That's right, Leo. But remember to look for one that is not near predators. Oh, dear. Predators? The predators that hunt the woodpecker are animals such as rats, snakes, and wild cats. They can cause serious harm to the woodpecker. Good luck, Junior Rangers. Thank you, Ranger Rocky. Let's see what we can find. Here are a lot of trees. And on this side are also a lot of trees. But yikes, there are snakes in it. Do you know where we should go? Over there are a lot of trees. And over there are a lot of trees with snakes inside. So where should we go? There? That's right. We need to go to a place with only trees because snakes might harm the woodpecker. Let's go. Let's walk along this path, everybody. Okay, let's go. I'm hungry. It's a good thing we always pack some sandwiches. Catch, Hero! Better be careful, Leo. You might attract wild animals with your food. Wait, do you hear that? Leo, look! It's wasps! Oh no! My food must have attracted them! They're coming closer! Throw my sandwich away. Perhaps they'll go after it. Now let's run! Oh no! Some of the wasps are still following us! <laughs> Don't go anywhere. We'll be back soon. Welcome to the game show on everyone's lips. It's time for Where, Where in the world? world? In this game, three lucky contestants will have to answer questions on the world. Get it right, and they will win an all-expense-paid trip to Triangle Aliens Planet. Joining us today are our mistress of melody, Cherry, friendly fixer-upper, Fluffy, and the Imp. Today's first topic is mystery country. Whoever solves the question will be one step closer to our grand prize. But not to worry, because everyone gets to walk away with loads of fun. So, if everyone is ready, where in the world is this? Your first clue is... Tulips! The best time to see them here is between March and May. As the national flower, two billion tulips are produced every year, with over seven million flowers blooming in spring. Oh, so close! Your second clue is... Windmills! This country used to have over 10,000 of them, pumping water and producing electricity. Now, they're tourist favorites. Talk about big fans! Imp, huh? you are correct! Aha! Today's mystery country is... The Netherlands! Congratulations, Imp! Yeah! Don't go anywhere. We'll be back soon. Quack, quack. Quack, quack. Quack, doo 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 Quack, quack. Do you guys know what bird I am? That's easy, Paula. You're a duck. <laughs> now it's my turn. Quack, doo 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 Can you guess it? <laughs> You're a rooster, Tim. You're right, Paula. How about me? I'm an owl. <laughs> sure, Billy. Hey, guys, check out Calc and Chalky. Chalky's pretending to be a chicken, and Calc looks like a little chick following him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's the phone. I'll get it. Hello? Paula speaking. Hi, Paula. It's Prince Emil. I need your help. What's wrong, Emil? It's my new pet bird. She can't seem to fly. Please, can you help her? The poor bird. We have to help. Don't worry, Emil. We'll be right over. I'll 
Okay, everyone. Let's go to the desert to help Amiel's pet bird fly. Hi, Amiel. Hello, friends. This is Esther. She's an emu. Someone from very far away gave her to me as a gift. Hello, Esther. It's so nice to meet you. You're the biggest bird I've ever seen. Yeah, look at her long legs. And she has a lot of feathers. Cool. Um, if Esther has so many feathers, then why isn't she able to fly? Yeah, I thought so too. I've had Esther for almost a week and I've never seen her fly at all. I even tried giving her a royal order, but she wouldn't listen. A royal order? What do you mean, Amiel? Here, I'll show you. Esther, I am Prince Amiel, son of the Sultan, future ruler of the desert, and I am giving you a royal order to fly right now. See, it didn't work, and royal orders always work. Hmm, maybe she's nervous and needs a little encouragement. Let me try. Come on, Esther. You can do it. I believe you can fly. We all believe you can fly. Right, guys? Help me out. You can fly. 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 Yes, you can. Yes, you can. You can, you can do it. You can, can do it. Um, I don't think that's working. I know what's wrong. Esther is too heavy. She needs to lose weight. Then she'll be able to fly. Let's do some exercises, Esther. Follow me. Come on, Esther. You need to try. Hey, guys. What if Esther doesn't know how to fly because no one taught her? I think it'll be easier for Esther to understand if we do it step by step. Okay, Esther. Step one, run. Step two, flap your wings. Step three, jump. Step one, run. Step two, flap your wings. Step three, jump. Oh man, Esther still didn't fly. Is that Esther's wing? It looks really tiny. I don't think her wings are strong enough to help her fly. My poor Esther. What should we do now? Oh, I know. Mr. Mechanic can help make Esther a pair of big, strong wings. Great idea, Tim. We'll be right back with Esther's new wings, Amiel. Everyone, to Mr. Mechanic's workshop. <coughs> Mr. Mechanic! Mr. Mechanic! We need your help to make a pair of big, strong wings. Hello, children! How lovely to see you! What kind of wings would you like? Butterfly wings? Fairy wings? Airplane wings? The wings aren't for us, Mr. Mechanic. It's for a bird that can't fly. Aw, that's really nice of you children to help the little birdie. Actually, Esther isn't little at all. She's huge, probably even taller than you, Mr. Mechanic. That's why we have to make sure the wings are strong, so that it can keep her up in the air. Okay, one pair of wings for a big, tall bird coming right up. Ta-da! What do you think? Wow, these wings are amazing! I'm sure Esther will have no problems flying once she uses this. Just press this button right here to switch it on and off. Thanks, Mr. Mechanic. Let's go back to the palace to give Esther her new wings. Hi, Amiel. Hi, Esther. 
We got the wings! Yay! Finally! Esther will fly! Um, maybe we should test the wings before Esther uses them? Just to make sure everything's okay? Good idea, Billy. I'll switch it on. Wow! Awesome! It works! <gasps> oh, no! The wings are out of control! <gasps> Watch out! Don't worry, Count's got it. They're scaring us through away. Oh dear, and Calc's flying away. Hurry, we need to catch both of them. Huh? Come back, Esther! Wait, my prince, where are you going? Esther, where did you go? Calc, where are you, Calc? I know where they <gasps> are. Uncle, Uncle Sphinx! Sphinx. Look over there, Paula. There's Esther. Esther, you're okay. What about Calc? Look up here. Calc, you're also okay. I'm glad no one's hurt, but I guess Esther shouldn't use the wings Mr. Mechanic made. It's not safe for her. <sighs> we need another plan to help Esther fly. Emus can't fly. Huh? Why not? There are some birds that do not fly, and emus are one of them. Oh, I thought all birds could fly. I'm sorry, Esther. I shouldn't have tried to force you to do something that you couldn't do. Do not worry. There is still a way for your emu to fly. What do you mean, Uncle Sphinx? This is so awesome. Look, Esther is pretending to fly. Woohoo! Yay, Esther! Number of the day! Three emus! Three pairs of wings! Dance with Cal! Welcome back! I'm hungry. It's a good thing we always pack some sandwiches. Catch, Hero! Better be careful, Leo. You might attract wild animals with your food. Wait, do you hear that? Leo, look! It's wasps! Oh no! My food must have attracted them! They're coming closer! I'll throw my sandwich away. Perhaps they'll go after it. Now let's run! Oh no! Some of the wasps are still following us! Wow! <laughs> the woodpecker is eating the wasps! We should give her the space she needs. Let's take out our propellers. Do you think it's safe to go down now? I think it is, Katie. Let's have a look. There you are, woodpecker. Do you think you had enough to eat? I think I had enough to eat, too. No more sandwiches for me. Oh, no. Are the wasps back? 
No, wait. This sounds different. Hmm. What do you think is making the sound? Hello, Junior Rangers. Ranger Rocky. What you are hearing is the sound of a male woodpecker. It's drumming to attract a female woodpecker. So if you want to help your woodpecker find her family, just look for Mr. Woodpecker and his nest. Not for a treasure chest or a science test, but look for Mr. Woodpecker and his nest. I see. So not for a treasure chest or a science test, but, but look, look for, for Mr. Mr. Woodpecker and his nest. nest. Thank you, Ranger Rocky. Okay, Hero. To find Mr. Woodpecker, you have to look for a nest in a large dead tree. Good luck. <laughs> Hero, there are a few dots on your radar. One of them might be Mr. Woodpecker. What is that? Hmm, that's an ant nest. Let's continue. Do you know what that is? Correct! That's a beehive! But the drumming sound is getting louder, so we must be getting closer. Can you see what that is? Yes! That's Mr. Woodpecker and his nest! Good work, Hero! We're coming over! We did it! We found the family of our white-bellied woodpecker. Yay! We found a white-bellied woodpecker in our garden. We learned that a white-bellied woodpecker pecks holes in trees to eat the insects in it. The woodpecker belongs to a place with many trees, so we returned her to her real home. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. Mission accomplished. <laughs>